We're in the midst of a fast. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it is a Daniel fast, and uh, we're doing it not just for 21 days or 30 days. We're doing it all the way to April 3rd. We're doing it for 90 days. And uh, I just heard clearly that it's 90 days to a reset. Say reset. 90 days to a reset. And God really wants to do things. And I am learning more and more and more that there's a connection between body, mind, soul, and spirit. There's a real connection. And when one of those are out of place, it affects the other one. So when our body's not really functioning the way it needs to function, our spirit and our mind and our soul, it also affects that. And we've been focusing a lot on the spirit and the soul and we're going to focus on that continually, but we're also focusing on the body. So throughout this fast, it's a Daniel fast. It comes from the book of Daniel where Daniel did a 21-day fast. His was 21 days. Ours is going to be a little bit longer. But in that fast, the Bible says he ate no meat, no sweets, basically. It's where uh, neither did flesh nor wine or any pleasant thing come into my mouth. So it's a time where you restrict yourself, and it's not supposed to be easy. You restrict yourself. And basically, to make it simple, it's no meat, no sweets. And we get a lot of questions during these times. People call the church all the time. They have questions about specific things. You know, can I eat tacos? What about sour cream? How about Doritos? You know. So let me just give some, because, you know, Doritos are made of corn, so it says made of corn. You know? So just, you know, you could, you could stretch this as far as you want to stretch it, all right? You could, you could find something in everything. You could say, well, I'm going to eat a hamburger because it has a tomato on it. And you can do it however you want to do it. But here's, here's a good rule of thumb to go by, all right? Um, get as close as possible as you can to a real plant, to a whole food, to a one-ingredient food. All right, apple, orange, banana, spinach, kale. Holler some more things out at me. You can, well, y'all don't even want to holler at me. Uh-huh rice, whatever, whole foods, real foods, beans, legumes, onions, mushrooms, as close as possible as you can. Just drink water. Herbal teas are fine with nothing in it. It's a fast. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. After a short period of time, your body gets used to it. It's no longer a challenge for you, uh, for most people, but it is a reset. It's a fast and reset. And here's, and it's, it's not mandatory. It's optional. Uh, do what works for you. Some people are like, uh-uh, mm-mm, the blood of whoever you call. I don't know. I'm not doing, whatever. But here's what I know. Everybody can go without sweets. There's nobody here can tell me you got to have coconut cream pie to live. No. Everybody can do without sweets for 90 days. So even if you feel like that you can't do without some protein, whatever, and I encourage you to do your best to do it the way most people are doing it, then everybody ought to leave sweets alone for a 90-day period and allow your body to reset. Now, in an effort to help you every Wednesday night, we're teaching you, we're sharing things with you. Until February 1st, we're talking about food. After that, we'll be talking about uh, body, soul, mind, spirit. There'll be things every Wednesday until this fast is over to help you, to draw you into a place uh, where it's easier to do. Um, we really want you to succeed, and it's just very, it just feels very important to the Lord 